Look what just arrived, the Cirque du Tarot. Very nice indeed. I already took the plastic off. This is like my third time trying to film this because I keep whacking the camera because I have a cheap mount for this particular camera. So Lisa Robertson illustrated with John Tufts. Ooh, look at those cars. Uh, obviously I got pulled into this. It looks like a very beautiful deck, very heavy too. I kind of like it. Anyway, I got this off of Llewellyn on their 35% off sale that they run every few months. And look at that. It opens up and, uh, ooh, under the big top. Big time indeed, I like that. All right, let's pull the little happy pull tab. Try not to shake the camera anymore. Oh, wow. Wow, look at this book. Look at the beautiful book that comes with this thing. Wow, that is stunning. That is stunning indeed. Wow, full color book and it is it is quite beautiful. How to write the author. I don't think I want to write the author. Uh, looks like I have uh, 203-ish pages. And uh, I'm, I'm quite, Jesus, I'm quite enamored with this book, as you can tell. Anyway, let's get to the cards. I know most people are going to see the cards instead of the book. And that's fair. Ooh, look at that. You know, they did a fantastic job with just the packaging, all this other stuff. So let's open this thing up and see what goodies we have within. I'm pretty excited, I gotta say. So that is really kind of, I, I guess I expected for the, for the packaging being that nice. Very, very cool. I guess I expected, uh, guess I expected some, some gilded edges or some silver edges or something, just standard edges. Here are the cards. Here is the back of the cards. Everybody wants to see that. Lamination. Mm, a lot of lamination. Let's see what the card quality looks like. That's, that's, that's not, well, that's two cards. Duh. That, that comes up to about here. I mean, it's not thick. It is, it is on the, uh, it is kind of more on the standard Llewellyn side. So if you don't mind that, that's okay. Look at the cards. The Fool sort of riding through the circus tent almost. Have a little bit of a magician. Ooh, that's kind of cool. On the big top hat with the opening circus kind of curtain there as well. Have the high priestess, very pretty indeed. They have the empress, very comfortable. Oh, that's interesting. We have an extra character chasing rabbits around. Interesting, interesting. I rarely see an extra character wandering around the Empress card. I, I can't remember the last deck that had that. Normally it's just the Empress and that's all you get. Emperor is by themselves though. We have an extra character here, maybe a mirror image, something type. Anyway, definitely a strong man. Uh, Hierophant, sort of interesting there. It's almost like, yeah, looking at like star constellations or something. So the Hierophant is, is infatuated with star constellations or whatever is going on up here. I like that. The cup is an interesting piece. The cup is interesting indeed. And you also have an extra character there. So does every one of these have an extra character? That's interesting. We have the lovers, sort of the backstage action, dressing room action indeed. We have the chariot uh, being pulled along. Huh, okay. Sort of being pulled along, the circus master, the ringmaster, um, and then we have the strength, with a little bit of an acrobatic feel to that. Let's see, we also have the hermit, okay, yeah, sort of shining a light up in there. Wheel of Fortune, um, yeah, sort of a, I guess the uh, high, the swing, not the, um, not the uh, tightrope, but I guess just the swings up high. We have Justice, okay, sort of a counterbalance action there. Then we have the Hanged Man, um, okay, being dipped into something, uh, being dipped into the fish tank, apparently, with a lot of steam coming off that fish tank. Death, cool, genie type of feel here, mm, double genie. Temperance, not sure what's going on there. The devil, interesting, being sort of manipulated, being held in. I like that, kind of cool. The uh, bird cages or the cages up there is interesting. We have the tower, 
We're sort of falling out. We have a keyhole almost feeling, which is interesting. I haven't seen that before in a tower. Kind of cool. We have the star. Then we have the moon. I like it. That is interesting. It's like a memory or something. A memory that they enjoy um, coming through there. The sun, very pretty indeed. Very vibrant color. Like all these other cards are kind of muted. That one just went all out. Very, very vibrant. Judgment with the E. I know some people are pretty upset when judgment doesn't have the E. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, judgment. Rebirth, the reincarnation, sort of playing music and summoning something, it feels like. The world, okay. All right, sort of traveling around the world. All of that good stuff. We have the page of swords. So this is way out of order, okay. Don't get mad at me. I didn't put it out of order. Page of swords. We have the page of, oops, we have the page of wands. What in the world? So they just duplicated that across there? Oh, man, okay. Uh, originality just kind of went by the wayside. We just changed the color, changed the character a little bit, changed the outfit a little bit. Maybe there's some. In the book, it probably explains exactly what the outfits are. I don't know. So here's kind of a closer look. So it looked like they put on makeup and it talks about an ally. It's time to prepare your mind, young page. It talks about stage fright. Then you have the page of wands, which looks almost exactly the same. And it talks about unlike other pages, this one finds sitting and staring into the makeup rather dull. I don't see, okay, it's rather dull here. It also looks rather dull here too, I guess. I mean, it looks like that, well, it looks like this page and that page and that page, yeah, it just seems a little too similar to me. It kind of kind of weak on the pages, in my opinion. It does have differentiation in the book, but for me, I would have liked more differentiation with that. Oh my! It looks like we did the same with the night. Okay, with the night, this night here, that night there. We have that night there, and that night there. Then we have, I guess they're doing the same thing with all the courts. So we have a queen of swords, a queen of wands. Then you have a queen of cups, followed by a queen of pentacles. They yeah, kind of rubber stamp there. A king, basically looks like just a reversed queen. <laughs> it looks kind of a reversed queen to me. It just looked like they got this image, flipped it, Change the color palette, change the objects. Okay, well, actually, let's go see. Let's go see, let's go see. All right, so is this a mirror image of the other one? You decide. Is that a mirror image of the other one? It, it looks like it. It looks kind of like it, indeed. I mean, that is almost an exact mirror image of that. And uh, it just looks like they flipped the image. Literally looks like they just flipped the image and assigned it a king. Because that's a rather busty king, I gotta say. That is, that that king has a, has a bust to him. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it looks like they just flipped this stuff. Okay, well, king of wands, king of cups, king of pentacles, and king of cups. Let's look at the queen of cups real quick. So that, is that the same image? Wait a minute. That that looks like the exact same image. I believe that is the same image, but just flipped with a little bit of differentiation on the crown, I guess. And uh, the cup looks the cup looks exactly the same uh, in almost every way. So wow. Wow, um, that is, that is kind of lame. That is kind of lame, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, Ace of Swords is interesting. We have an Ace of Swords there. We have something coming through against more little, again, more little characters. Two of Swords, 
it's interesting, sort of a perspective in there, and then doing a, uh, a high, high swing dance, I guess. Three of sewers. Here we go. Interesting, sort of an upset heartbreak. Uh, then we have the broken heart here with the dancing. Then we have a four of swords, the delay, the waiting. Uh, five of swords is here. It looks like they're just rubber stamping these swords. Yeah, it looks like they're rubber stamping the sword and just changing the outline, changing the vibrance, changing some aspects about it. Six of swords. I like that. That's kind of inventive. Five of swords. Almost look like a little bit of a wheel of fortune there. So we have the seven of swords. And then sort of the escaping, capturing, stealing kind of thing here. We have a uh, drop sword. Eight of swords, the restrictions. Interesting that we're going to do that with a little bit of a spider feel. I've seen that before with the eight of swords, kind of a spider web. I do like that theme. I think that theme is pretty cool. Nine of swords. And then the ten. So the ten of swords. The ending. The conclusion. Loading up maybe the body. Loading up the uh, corpse. And somebody supervising almost. Ace of wands is kind of cool. Wow, that is vibrant. Two of wands. Sort of a command of the dominion, obviously. And we have a three of wands with a little bit of a scanning, looking around, sort of looking down instead of outward, uh, outward. You have a four of wands feel too. And then we have a five of wands. So very cool indeed. That is very vibrant, six of wands. Man, I really wish they, uh, do they go like that with the cups and what have you? Yeah, they kind of do. I guess it's just sort of a muted tone with the cups. And then with the flames, with the red, they just go all out. I like the Seven of Wands. That's kind of cool. Again, somebody orchestrating. Most of these cards have someone orchestrating the card, which I think is kind of cool. Eight of Wands, the movement. Not really sure what movement we have here. But sure, why not? Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. And we have the Ten of Wands, the encumbrance. Sort of uh, maybe fire breathing or smoke breathing at a minimum. And then you have somebody bowing down to them, which is kind of weird. So we have the Ace of Cups, the uh, new beginning, the new excitement. A little bit of a Two of Cups action here with a connection with the water connection. Kind of cool. I like the pearl within the clam or what have you. The pearl within the shell. Three of Cups, the friendship, the celebration. Kind of weird that you have somebody, it feels like they're almost like crying and the tears coming down with a three of cups. What? The celebration with the three of cups, we have somebody crying almost or somebody shocked or something like that. It feels like there's a tear there. Um, or maybe that's just their hair, but the raining and things like that just seems unusual for a three of cups card. Four of cups uh, almost feels like a six of swords here. Four of Cups, um, not wanting something. The face within there is kind of cool. Five of Cups, um, sort of the despair, the spillage. A six with the connection, sort of family connection. I like the whale. It's kind of cool. Seven of Cups, kind of have a little octopus creature, what have you, with all sorts of different cups and different choices. That's a pretty card. And the Eight of Cups is also pretty with the abandonment and the loss and leaving. Nine of Cups, okay, we have sort of a big selection. And the Ten of Cups, happy home, happy family with the whale. And it's almost like a Three of Cups celebration here. Ace, with the Cups lined up, it feels more like a Nine of Cups to me, with the Cups lined up there. Ace of Pentacles, the new beginning, the new opportunity. I like the Roman numerals in the background. And the face with the nose being a pentacle is kind of cool. Two of pentacles, the choices, the decisions that need to be made. The three of pentacles, the work, the building structure of something. But nobody's in here. We have little, we have little minions, I guess, working. Uh, is this one that fell? It looked like a bug. It looks kind of like a bug down there. Or maybe it's a minion that fell. Maybe the minion working on the lower half. 
Four of Pentacles. I like sort of the face in the machine. Kind of cool. Four of Pentacles holding on to what we have. Sort of feeding the Pentacles into the fire, maybe. Melting down the Pentacles. And that's when we have the fire. Uh, five of Pentacles. The poorness. The despair sort of riding through there. This does not feel like a five of pentacles. Uh, six of pentacles, the gift. A gift indeed, sort of balancing out the gift, and there's somebody receiving the gift, at least the shine off of the pentacle. Now, that's kind of cool. The gift is illumination. I think that's a good one. Seven of pentacles, working towards a goal, uh, work unfulfilled, basically. Success unfulfilled. Eight of Pentacles, the work being done. You can see all the minions running around. A lot of work being done. Nine of Pentacles is interesting. Mm, what, there's a dome going over this person? I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure what this means. I need to read the book, obviously, but. Ten of Pentacles is um, happy home, happy family. I don't know, it, a lot of, this is going to be sort of challenging for a new person, absolutely. So let's look at one of the ones that sort of stumped me. Not like I'm a genius or anything, but it's just stumped me. It's like, what's going on? Okay, uh, Five of Pentacles. Why is that that way? Let's read. Let's read from the book. The Five of Pentacles. Where is sort of the, the poor and whatnot? Maybe they're just working. Um, well, not every experience is for every person. Sometimes conditions are aligned. Other times they're not. There's a good chance that right now fear of missing out and making you fail out of alignment with the material world. What? You see yourself as one of the performers on stage four below the excitement of the ringmaster. Are you a desperate player who grabbed the rock in hopes of sharing some joy? Man, it seems like that the art came first and then we kind of wrote, wrote the book in, in that just doesn't make any sense. It's like we have the poor downtrodden and the person celebrating above, maybe. I don't know. Seven of Pentacles. Uh, something lovely about knowing what you will need to show up right in the right way. However, this doesn't happen by accident. Um, pretty heavy redefinitions here. Pretty heavy redefinitions, in my opinion. I sort of have the Eight of Pentacles was work indeed. Nine of Pentacles. What's going on with the with the uh, feet. So it's the dress that is the dome and the feet is pushing the person back. What? What does it mean not to, to have it all and feel like you have won at the game of material things? Living a large life overshadows the ghost of fears for others. Okay, so that's a person basically that is uh, that's having a good time to have it all. Okay, well, you know. All right, so you do have a pretty heavy redefinition of some of the imagery that we are used to, the right away Smith. Overall, I think it's interesting. I think it's kind of cool. Um, I definitely will be using it. The court cards are obviously a massive disappointment, like a massive disappointment. Other than that, I, I like the graphics. I love the book. I like everything about this other than the court cards. I think the court cards really, really uh, are disappointing. It looked like that was severely rushed, obviously, in my personal opinion. Uh, book is just stunning, man. Book is just gorgeous. I really wish they would have spent more time on the court cards. That would have really made a, uh, a lot better deck, in my opinion. Again, just my opinion. But uh, overall, what do you think of it? I kind of like it. I'm definitely going to use it, see how it reads. That's one thing for me, you know. How does it read? It can look great, but how does it read at the end of the day? Anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know your opinion. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time.